All right, so we're just going to go over scalar multiplication. So what a scalar is, I'll write it here. A scalar is just a constant number. It could be anything. It could be 1, negative 1. Um, it just has no direction attached to it, just a constant. And the way we write a scalar is with the lowercase c. So say we have a vector, any vector in R2. Let's say vector it has an x component and a y component. Now if we want to multiply our scalar to our vector, it looks like this. We have lowercase c, then bold v. And it set it up like this. It says c times our vector x, y. Now this is a distributive property when you multiply. So the c gets multiplied to the x, and the c also gets multiplied to the y component. So our vector c, v would look like its x component is c, x, and its y component is c, y. So now let's just pick any vector, let's say. Let's say our vector v is equal to 2, 2. And let's say our scalar that we're choosing is equal to 3. So when we multiply, we'll write it like this, we'll say cv, make that bold, cv is equal to 3 times 2, 2 which is equal to 3 times 2 for the x component, so it's 6, and the y component is also 6. So now let's draw this. Let's say, let's go down here and say vector v, let's, let's start it right here. Its components are 2x, its x component is 2 and its y component is 2. So vector v will look like this. This is vector v. Now, we want to draw 3v, which we found out down here. So it's equal to 3v. So we can just start it right here. And now this new vector is x component is 6 and its y component is 6. So we'll start at the tail and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it actually ends up at the origin. So let's draw this like that. And there you have it, that's vector 3v. So you'll notice that when we multiply this vector v by 3, by the scalar 3, it actually just got 3 times as long. So we, you can say we scaled it by a factor of 3. Now, let's say we choose a new, a new scalar. We can pick the scalar c is equal to 1 half. And so if we want to find what uh, 1 half times v is, let's say 1 half v is equal to one half times our vector v, which was two, two. And when we solve for this, we find that the one half times two is just one, and the y component is also just one. So we can draw this. Let's start right here. Um, so we go over one and up one to that point. There you have it. So that is one half v. And so you'll notice we multiplied it by half, so it just got half as long. We scaled it by a factor of one half. Um, now, what we can also do with scalars, we can choose negative numbers. So if we choose our, our scalar to equal, say, negative one, we can find out what this is times our vector v. We'd say negative one times v is equal to negative one times the components, two, two. And that would equal our new vector, negative 2, negative 2. And another way to write this, instead of negative 1 v, we can just call this negative v. So I'll just start over here so you can kind of get a better idea. If we put the tail right here, and now we count negative 2 on the x-axis and negative 2 on the y-axis, that's where the head will go. So our vector looks like this, negative v. So what this has done, this is just flipped the direction because we multiplied it. We haven't multiplied by anything other than one, just negative one. So the the length of the vector doesn't change. But now you can see it's just going in the complete opposite direction. And let's do let's do another one. Let's do one more. Let's say if we choose our our scalar c to equal equals negative two 
If we multiply this, we can say negative 2v, oops, negative 2v is equal to negative 2 times the vector, or the original vector v to 2. And we would see that negative 2v is equal to negative 4, negative 4, just like that. So if we want to draw this, let's just pick any note point. Let's pick a, let's put our tail right here. We'll count negative 4 on the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 4 on the y, 1, 2, 3, 4. And when we draw it, just connect the points. And this vector is negative 2v. So there you see it. When you multiply, the negative sign indicates that it changes direction. Now it's going this way. And negative 2 it's just twice as long as the original vector. Both components have been made twice as long. And just a little quick note, if you choose to multiply a vector by zero, so if you choose the scalar zero, you actually get a unique vector. We would say, so we'd say um, zero times v is equal to zero times two, two. And we just get what's called the zero vector. We get zero times two is zero, and zero times two is zero. And this doesn't really make any sense. You can't really draw the zero vector because it wouldn't go anywhere. If you just started at the origin, it would just go back to the origin. It would go zero units on the x-axis and zero units on the y-axis. But regardless, we do still use this vector. And sometimes it's just denoted by bold zero. And that's the zero vector. So we can't draw it, but You'll, we'll see later in the videos that it is actually have some applications.